Okay, welcome back. This is our third series for uh, the getting started using Fab 3000 with the editing. All right, so what we're going to do again is now just work on some basic editing features on the actual Gerber files. So in the previous tutorial, I went ahead and increased the width of the uh, traces here. And again, mentioning that that would cause a DRC violation. But uh, it's just something to, to just get started and, and get you familiar with the board here itself. I mean, with the layout and design and editing that you can do here. So let's say for instance, in this particular case now, I wanna just uh, increase the trace width again using that same feature that we used. So we go to Tools, Fabrication, Row Shrink, and let's just choose even a little bit bigger. Not that it's gonna make much difference there, but let's say five. And uh, what I like to do now is to go ahead and also, uh, actually we'll make it we'll make it even larger than this so we can go back you can actually after you've modified it you can go back and make it even larger so another five from those besides probably too much here so go three great all right so at this particular point here what I like to do is go ahead and basically split this trace up so that way it stays thin and then it's only fat here in the middle when it's not next to any pads and it's thin when it goes in between the pads. Kind of just showing different variables now. It, again, it really just depends, but it's just trying to show the overall features and the ability. So what I'll do here is I'll select uh, go to the edit menu and I'll go to the vertex editing where you have the, you can move vertices as we kind of showed already. Uh, you can insert vertices and you can delete. So I use the insert vertices. What this is gonna do is in the, whatever the closest center point that I select it's going to go ahead and separate the trace now it's hard to see here because of the color blue I've chosen but once I'm done with the function you'll see that basically when I use when I pull the mouse over here that there is uh, now three traces because I, I picked two points to split the trace so now what I'll simply do is I can go ahead and this make this size smaller so I'll go back to the tools menu fabrication will shrink and instead of saying three, I could put negative five. And this will put five, negative five mils per side. Let's go four, maybe that's a little too much. Great, so now you see that, that we've got this where it's, it's a thinner section. And I'm probably doing the opposite of what I wanted. Uh, but again, it's just tutorial, so it kind of gives you familiar. So what I do now is I can just simply select the trace and drag as so, and drag as this. I think you get the, the point here as far as what you can do as far as the editing and uh, modifications of the, the trace itself. Uh, what I like to do also is show some of the other commands such as the stretch command if you want to be able to kind of drag. Let's say for instance uh, you want to be able to move this area over here. Now what you could do is you could just select this and drag each one over but let's say you have uh, more than one like several of them. What you can do is use a stretch command. So the way the stretch command works is just go edit, stretch. You select the box around whatever area that you want to that you want to have stretch. Basically, all the vertices inside this area will be uh, moving along. So at down here, it'll, Factory Thousand always kind of prompts you to what needs to be done next. So you'll see it has base points. So I just pick this as my base point and kind of drag the rectangle box along, and then you'll see that the uh, vertice has moved. Uh, another nice feature we'll do here for manufacturing showing how to add uh, teardrops as that's one of the most common features of things that need to be done. What you do to add teardrops is you simply select the pads. Let's say for instance on th these three right here I want to have teardrops selected. Uh, you go to the menu tools, fabrication, teardrop creation, and then from here you can choose a type of teardrop you can have a snowman which puts a small tiny flash next to the big flash or you can have the standard teardrop there's an offset multiple kind of saying how elongated the teardrop is going to be or not and when you press ok there you go now you'll see that the teardrop has been added uh, to that feature uh, let's see and so at this point we'll, we'll end this uh, third tutorial and we'll definitely have some more coming up in the works and if you have any questions or would like any custom tutorials built for yourself, simply email sales at numericalinnovations.com and we'll be happy to help you out. Thank you very much.